Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing this TP-Link, whatever that is. Um, it's basically just an inexpensive wireless adapter. So this only costed, it was less than 20 bucks on Amazon. I'll link it in the description. So let's just pop it open. I actually use this in a lot of my client builds where the, the uh, motherboard doesn't have built-in Wi-Fi. So let's check it out. We don't need this, we just get it from the website. This is just the drivers and whatever info. So for the actual card itself, it uses the PCIe 1X interface, so make sure your board has an open slot for that. Um, two antenna, they just screw in here. I'm, not, I'm just gonna do that later. So they actually, if you're installing this into a, like a pre-built or something, and you need the low profile bracket, they give you it here. So you just unscrew that. I won't be using that today, so that's pretty much all that's in the box. I can put that to the side. And yeah, here's the adapter. Pretty basic, green PCB. And a green status light here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go install this into a, a system and we'll show you how it performs. All right, so here's what the adapter looks like in a full system. So the board itself is actually pretty small compared to like an ATX motherboard. So even though it's pretty ugly, it, it shouldn't be too noticeable if you're building in a decent sized system. All right, so for the speed test, I'm gonna be comparing it to our to the PC connected with ethernet and just the Wi-Fi adapter. So with ethernet, we're getting pretty fast speeds, 275 down, 320 up with six milliseconds of latency. And tested with the Wi-Fi adapter, um, 85 down, 83 up, with 10 milliseconds of latency. So even though this may seem like a big downgrade, obviously you're testing against something with no restrictions at all. This is like the maximum speed I can get. So getting around half that or a third of that is not too bad, especially for a sub $20 adapter. All right, so that's gonna conclude my review for this budget TP-Link Wi-Fi adapter. So I actually am gonna recommend this, especially for people on, on either a tight budget or other people like me who are building for other people. Since this is a really cheap Wi-Fi adapter, it's really reliable. I've bought this a couple times before. So yeah, if you don't have a board with onboard Wi-Fi and you want to sell online, I definitely recommend getting a Wi-Fi adapter because it adds to the appeal of the product since a lot of people won't have Ethernet connections ready. So yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.